what's up you guys it's grace and today i'm going to be giving you my top five tips for academically surviving high school um so i've already filmed this once but my glasses were just blatantly reflecting the sky the entire time and maybe you guys could have dealt with that but i can't so i'm going blind for this video not looking forward to it um but yeah so i'm currently a senior in high school and i'm in my second semester meaning that i think i have almost made myself qualified to give you some tips i don't know um there have definitely been some massive bumps in the road i did make cute little flashcards though so i think that also makes my uh, qualification go up just a little bit not much um but yeah i am tech uh, well okay uh, i'm kind of more the uh rory gilmore type if you guys watch gilmore girls basically i am definitely more the type to like pressure myself with grades and everything however i have had phases in high school where i have not cared at all and have just wanted to give up so these are kind of the tips for like when i got into that place so I definitely relate if you're not motivated because I've had parts of my years that have definitely been like hardcore, I do not care anymore. That rhymed, wow. I should like paint that on my wall. I think that would, yeah, that would be good. Um, yeah, so these are my five tips just on how to make it through academically and maybe even make your parents proud. That would be, you know, I don't know your parents, but um, my number one tip would be to work on the front end. Because if you are taking notes in class, asking questions while you're there, when the teacher gives you 20 minutes of free time, you're actually doing school, um, doing your homework. Just a concept, a concept. Um, I'm actually horrible at this. Like, I'm pretty decent at taking notes, but I'm definitely the type that, like, once I'm given free time, I'm like, cool, okay, I'm catching up on the latest Haley Fam video kind of thing. So if you're able to compartmentalize kind of school and home life, that makes you so much more productive. By the time you get home, you won't have homework. When I've been good about this, I've had no work to do once I'm home. Work on the front end. You gotta focus, kiddos. This one's pretty cute. Keep an eye on your overall well-being. So basically, um, my thought process with this one was just if you're not doing well in school, your mental well-being is probably going down. But also if your mental well-being is going down, your school's probably also going to go down. So you, it's, it's kind of hard to tell which came first, I guess is what I'm saying. So the best way to deal with it is just start with what's inside of you. I'm not telling you that you need to be some crazy health junkie. Seriously, if you just take the time to give your body what it's asking for, if you're giving your body nutrients, you will seriously start to feel better. If you're drinking more water, you're not gonna be dehydrated anymore. You're going to feel better. When you, you know, put some extra effort into your appearance, I don't remember the last time where I, I randomly put on lipstick and curled my hair just because I wanted to. And I feel so good today and just like taken care of. Um, so just taking those extra steps to clean your room and, you know, hang out with friends that really do make you feel good about yourself and just, I don't know. Anyway, if you're able to balance your time with the things that you love, you're going to feel better mentally and it's going to change your health and overall well-being and that's going to increase your motivation at school. If you are taking self-care as I'm gonna lay in my bed and do nothing, that's not productive for your well-being. It really isn't. And I like to convince myself that that's me resting and recharging and you know, it's going to improve my well-being. It's not, it really doesn't. A lot of times it ends up in being just comparison. And by the end of it, I hate myself for sitting on my phone for so long anyways. So it just does not end up being productive. So find those productive well-being habits. So my third tip is to have a good relationship with your teachers. All of my favorite subjects in school have changed every year because of my teachers. If you take the time to get to know your teacher and just go in a little bit early and just make conversation, I'm not even kidding you, it makes such a huge difference because it's so hard not to respect a person when you know their story, when you know a little bit more about them. Like I have one of the teachers that everyone notoriously just hates in my high school but i took the time i actually needed to academically i wasn't doing that great so i just started talking to him more and 
Honestly, he's so funny. He just has a super dry sense of humor and everyone takes it as him being mean. Me getting to know him and realizing that like that is him trying to connect, that is him trying to be sarcastic and make connections with kids, like that made such a difference and I stopped dreading his class. So if you can find things that you like about your teachers, learn a little bit about their stories, you're going to be a lot more inclined to ask for help. You're going to be more inclined to just enjoy their class and when you respect someone you pay attention to them and you really take in all the information they're trying to give you and take in the help that they're trying to give you well, the more you know about somebody and their story the harder it is to not like them honestly i'm pretty sure that's like a mr rogers quote or something editing grace look into that anyway my next tip would be after we have already step number one worked on the front end um step number four is to rewrite your notes and stay organized i know you guys have heard this a million times but i'm going to give you kind of a different concept of why this works if you have really messy notes from class which are just like pencil and kind of craziness like such from my physics notes um this is like i can understand what's going on here but given a few weeks after I was taught this, I may not know what's going on anymore. It's really good to just jot everything down while you're in class and then make it prettier once you get home. So I was able to make some of the stuff not on that specific sheet. So if you guys know physics, you're probably going to be like, this makes no, there's no correlation. But then I'm able to take a messy worksheet and make it into like a little formula sheet here with some units written in there and everything and with some cute little colors to like show me which ones I really need to remember or are most significant or whatever. So the more you're able to just, like, if you can write everything down in class kind of messy just to make sure you have everything there, by the time you get home, you can look through and remember, like, mm, I don't really need to write that down again. I already know that. You cannot add that to your final notes. But then you can take some really cute colors. I love these zebra mild liners. I'm sure you guys have already seen these. They're everywhere. Um, but I love them, so I love using those when I get home to just make my notes a lot prettier and more focused on what I really need to dive in on. So yeah, if you can do that and then just stay organized so you're not losing stuff all the time, it will make all the difference in the world. And I try really hard to keep my backpack organized. One more thing that I'll show you guys and then I swear I'll move on. I have this UB folder, which I love UB folders. Um, just all of their school supplies, honestly, because everything that you buy, another one of it goes to a child in need. I thought. But if Y-O-O-B-I is a company where they send one of whatever you buy to someone else, wouldn't it be you buy and not you be? Um, just wondering. I keep a folder at all times in my bag that is just for stuff that I don't know where to put or that's for homework or whatever. If I'm not going to put it in a binder, I put it in here. This way I don't have any loose leaf just flying around my backpack. I have it all in either a binder or in my folder, which helps a whole lot for real. Um, that way it just looks organized and then I know where to go for everything that I have. Last tip, you guys are probably like, thank the Lord I'm over it. Um, because my train of thought makes no sense, but whew, So when you're having a mental breakdown because we all get them sometimes I literally have not said the title yet. It's have a plan for a reset. Sorry editing grace. Um, yeah Basically, you have to have a plan of how you're going to pull yourself out of that place My recommendation is give yourself a break. Give yourself a day if you schedule things move them like give yourself a little bit of space to actually just take care of yourself for me that's waking up early having a cup of coffee and having my time with jesus that makes all the difference in my mindset i'm not even kidding you if i can spend a quiet morning with all of my technology elsewhere and pray and dive into the word that's what recharges me i don't choose it very often and i really should so when i can take a moment to have an extra long time with him or you know do a spa with you know face mask shower you know that's a very typical like recharge type thing but if that works for you do it if it's going hiking with your family or with your friends or alone do it you're going to stop being productive in all areas it's just going to fall in on you so if you take that time on the front end to take care of yourself or even if it is taking that whole day to recharge and reset, it's going to benefit you in all areas of your life. But that includes your academics in high school. As if this video helped you 
at all, let me know. Um, and if there's any other questions you have about kind of more the social and emotional aspects of high school and just how to deal with all of that or kind of what's worked for me, also ask me those questions down below. Um, I have a long weekend, so I'm hoping to get this video uploaded on Saturday. I'm filming it on Saturday, so we'll see if that happens. But if I can, I will probably also make another video because I'm off until Tuesday. So if you guys want to see a video related to like SAT, ACT stuff, I know that's been requested. Let me know down below what questions you have um, or if you want kind of like what the college application process has been. For me, you can ask questions down below as well. Uh, depending on what requests I get, then I will try to film before I go back to school again. Also, one more thing, I do have a little trip coming up soon. I'm going to Chicago for a few days and it is, I've never been there, first of all. Also, it is winter, so it's going to be freezing and I don't know how I'm gonna deal with that. It's gonna be interesting. But if you guys would like to see a vlog while I'm in Chicago, let me know. That was not English. Let me know down below if you'd like to see a Chicago vlog. It's just gonna be me and my dad. So let me know all the videos that you guys want and all the questions that you have that you want in those videos. Does that make sense? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful to you. I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. And I will see you sometime soon. Bye.